Hello. I have the hottest model I know here, and I just wanted to show something about lighting dark scenes. This is becoming my favorite light. It's from Amazon. It has three different modes, and I'm going to keep it here for now. Maybe I'll turn up the brightness a little bit. And it's not lighting the model, who's super expensive per day, so I need to do this quick. Striking. <laughs> Lower the phone down a little to your face. Yeah, I have been liking phone stuff lately when somebody's on their phone using it to light their face. I'm gonna dial this intensity of this light down a little bit. This light is helping the practical. It's been modified a little bit and I wanna just take off these modifications and show you what it's like without it. So this is uh, not right. If you just stick a light there, like an Aperture MC, or if you were to bounce a light off the wall or any light that you want, if it's uncontrolled, it's just gonna look like there's a light there. So just with a grid on it, it looks more real, like she might be getting the light from that practical over there. I'm now gonna modify it more. I'm gonna add the barn doors. The barn doors are on and even controlling the light a little bit more. The hardness on the bed kind of gives it away that there's a light there, but most people wouldn't really know. It wouldn't look out of the ordinary to them. You wanna just grab your phone and go swipe from left to right on the home screen. Imagine a scene in the movie where something is happening and she's in here waiting for something. Now the other thing that's good to do in the night scenes is to raise the level of the whole entire scene so that you have no noise and have more control in post because it's pretty dark in here. You want a pillow? No. I'm almost done. So in a perfect scenario here, if this is exactly where I want it to be with the lighting, but I wanted a cleaner image, I would brighten everything up, leave the settings on the camera and brighten everything up by the exact amount. So to do that, I would double the intensity of this. I would double the intensity of this and I would double the intensity of the outside world. And to do that, you would just shoot this before the sun sets all the way. This is all the way up with a grid and barn doors. And I'm gonna turn this one all the way up. This Amazon light is dope. Long press to dim, single press to change the color temp. This looks cool. Maybe it's a little bit bright, but I wanna experiment with bringing it down, putting some power windows on there and seeing what we can do there. When I'm in a room at night inside, there's lights on everywhere. And usually it's more than one. Maybe throw it in this corner right here. This looks a little weird. And that was at 5,600. So I'm just gonna warm it up a tad. I don't really love that. I'm gonna leave it. What about another lamp? I'm just gonna grab this one, this additional lamp. I have no idea what the brand even is of these lamps, but I love them and I'll put a link for them in the description. We'll dim this down a little. So just a little bit of this, this lamp right here. I'm gonna put it out of the frame. So there's just a tiny little something there. I think that this works. And one other thing I'm gonna do, which is a little tricky because of the fact that it's not blue outside, but I'm just gonna see what some blue light looks like. This blue doesn't look right with these lights on. And it's not really nighttime blue, it's more- Party blue. Party blue. This is not working because this is kind of, minus the fact that it's tur turquoise and not like nighttime blue, it is obviously coming from over there where the window isn't. We can take a look back at the other shot where it was more natural, where the color temperature of the lights was matching, and we can just grade it so that everything looks more blue, so that it looks more nighttime bluish. This is just with my hand here. We can see what's happening on the bed. The bed is very lit right here. So you could just flag it off a little bit, but have it still be hitting Ashley. So we'll see if we can do that. I also have this light just balanced, but I'll put up the barn door a little bit. So it's off the bed a little bit. And let me get out of here. So the light is still hitting her, but it's not as harsh on the bed. And I feel like a lot of people think that barn doors can cut the light in a similar way to how a flag can do it, but since the barn doors are so close to the light source, it's kind of hard to use the barn doors sometimes, so I would put the barn door back down. I mean, we only have six more minutes on the card. Balance this on the headboard, freaking impossible. My God, we kind of just are gonna get what we're gonna get. And I would have a flag out as far as I could get it into our frame, so right here, and we could see where my hand shadow is. And can you look up so that it's not covering her face or head? but it's covering the bed a little bit where you can see my shadow moving so that it's less lit, but this is okay. 
And then another thing I would do is possibly get this door right here less lit by probably putting some negative fill right here. The door on the left is bright and I'm putting a sweatshirt on this wall that's being lit. It's sticking out, but if I did it properly, it wouldn't be sticking out and it darkens this door right here. Okay, I think that will do it. Just a quick look at um, really simple stuff here. And um, do you got anything to add? No. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna say again, got anything to add? And then I'm gonna take the mic off and put it close to you and you say, smash that subscribe button. Or say something, like what would you say? Like don't clip your highlights. I think that's it, you got anything to add? I'm good, I thank you. Okay, so I think that's it. This was very simple nighttime look with two Amazon lights and a light that I will link in the description, which I have been loving testing out for the past couple weeks. And um, I do have some interesting videos coming up. I have just signed a contract. <laughs>